chicken one, two, one, two. I hitched a train between here and St. Paul. I had no idea that I'd sleep in a pig stall. Once I got home, the dirt that covered me, nothing like the disappointment that you would never see. Same page, but a different book. So much more in common if you'd only look. There's only one God, whatever name he took. For sure. What's going on, everyone? Only matters when it comes to war. What are we? What are we? What are we fighting for? Breathe, let it in. New kids on the block lot of, had a lot of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? This will be an exclusive YouTube and Facebook Live after show not going on the other platforms, even though we have an announcement of a special show for Monday and a special guest. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Morris Hayes, always an absolute great guest. And we always make sure to uh, ask different questions that you may not have heard it. So no matter if Morris did two interviews or 200, if he does this show, it's going to be different for sure. That's why I love to have other people on just to show uh, my knowledge that I know more than just print stuff and dates. <laughs> so what's going on, Kim, Lisa, Dawn, Blessing, Anoika, if I got that wrong, blame my grandmother, uh, Anita, Carrie, Kim. And is this, there's nothing wrong. It is, isn't a sausage party. Fred, there we go. We got a guy in the house. What's going on, my man? I'm going to give you a high five right back. So what's up, Michelle? doing this um yeah just gave me a notification of youtube live but yes thank you i always try to bring the bring in the noise bring in the funk uh i always try to be better than my last show even if uh there's other stuff going on i put on the face that everything is good and everything is wonderful because it's good and wonderful because we're all together and we made it to Friday, even if it is the 13th, uh, even though there's no such thing as luck, right? So there we go. It's always nice to see you guys. Thank you guys for sharing it in your groups and whatnot, whether it's live or even afterwards, because it's all there to be doing. What's going on, Angela? Hope you're doing well, my friend. So... Hey, Patty, it was good to meet you in Minneapolis. Hope you're recovering um, from your accident. I uh, hope Sarah is doing well as well. Um, sometimes I'm in my own headspace that, uh, you know, um, I come off a certain way and it isn't meant to be that way. I just got a, a lot of my mind. And uh, sometimes this show was a, a good outlet for that to not let me have to think about certain things. See, so yes, what's going on, Patricia? Uh, so we go on that. So yeah, I was just, Minneapolis was, was a trip just from the sense of, you know, LA, we we're getting high numbers at the time. And then you have a bunch of people from different places. You know, I, I love Adrian, I support Adrian. Um, I did spend a majority of the show outside because there was more space because I went in there and then there was an older gentleman who had a Kleenex that looked like it was from 1973, all in his nose and blowing it. And I went, yeah, I'm going back outside. So I'm with the angel on that. So can we charge more from getting all the MPG band versions revolution members together? That's a pretty big task. Like you got more than five keyboard players together, right? So. Hey, Tanya, nice to see you. Yeah, I was a little bit uh, shy in that. That's sometimes people mistake my shyness for arrogance, and that's just not the case. Um, you have the same, um, the same body language uh, it is for shyness and arrogance. And people mis me, misread me wrong because I'm not posting... Um, everything I'm going through on Facebook or social media. Everyone's got their own battles. I like to share stuff after it happens. 
Um, so, yeah, it's been a it's been a tough few weeks, but um, when it comes to the show, we got to be professional. You got to have other things going on it, and that's what we're gonna do it. Um, Mr. Funk, I do wish to thank you always for years of conversation, memories, opinions, and music. And with this year not being so great, thank you for sharing. Keep smiling. Stay safe. Thank you. Much love um, to everyone. Uh, yeah. Uh, and like I said, I want to expand towards the Prince world. And I reached out to someone today that I really want me on the show. And they're like, oh, I didn't really hang with Prince, but thank you for the offer. And I'm like, I want to have you on more than just that. So um, we'll be getting into stuff. But don't worry, Carrie. Hopefully, like, I didn't give you that vibe when I saw you at Martin's show. But, you know, I try I try not to be that way. I'm more comfortable in my own skin. I need um, one other thing to uh, happen, and I'll feel a lot better. <laughs> it's down to the wire. Um, unbelievable. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, prayers up, positive energy, and um, the next week and a half is going to be super important. But uh, Monday, Monday we're going to be having a great show. Um, thank you, Jill. I try to be positive and friendly. Trying to, like I said, um, to exude to exude that. Um, personal bows are just it. I have a small circle of people that I do it. So maybe I'm not putting everything in social media, and then people will come for you and not understanding what you're going through. So uh, everyone's got insecurities. Everyone's got this stuff. Everyone has their own battles. And that's why I wish people would, um, you know, it's, it's maybe a misused term in this time, but from people's actions, it's definitely needed to be more kind to one another and understanding one another and understand that people have ridiculous battles. So thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. So doing on these stuff. So thank you. So anyone, like, I know, I know what guest you guys want. Um, and again, I'm trying. I'm very happy with, uh, like, look, I wanted to have an entire Welcome to America week. Morris was supposed to be the final guest to that, but it didn't work out the way that I wanted. And, um, you know, but that's how it is. So I'm trying to do a, a few shows to where before I guess I'm going to be taking like a forced Labor Day break. Uh, you want Cassandra back on? We can make that happen. Uh, Monday, it's a person I've been wanting on the show for a while. A person that people until this album came out didn't know her association with Prince. Um, she's never been on the show before. Uh, so that eliminates Shelby, Liv, and Elisa. And I love them and want them on. Uh, Shelby has her good days and her not so good days, but I can't wait to have her on and have everyone else on. Yeah. Sheila's recovering from COVID. I'm glad that she's doing all right. We'd love to have her on the show one time, maybe when we're moving into a studio and not doing the shows live, it'll be a little bit easier for her. Um, thanks, Diana or Deanna. Just do it, because I know friends that pronounce it Deanna that go by this one, Diana. So yeah, as far as the twins have been so quiet during this release. Well, they're on, they're on the DVD, maybe not on the album or any of the photos on the inside. But young, the young lady on the Welcome to America album, yes, which one? Um, but I've been looking forward to having her on for a while. And we're going to talk about some print stuff and other artists that she worked with and how young she was when she started playing. And the first time that I saw her live was jamming with Larry Graham and Victor Wooten. And a few others so you know that's what goes on hey i'm open on my social media it doesn't mean that we're not going through some stuff you know uh that's what it comes down to so we're gonna have a monday show and i can't wait you know i, I usually do it 
healing, ding, 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 ding. I usually do it after we have the flyer out. But uh, on Monday, special Monday show, it'll be uh, Tall. Tall Wilkinfield will be our guest. And I want Ida. Ida, we were always trying before, especially when you know we weren't doing the show's video format. And I try to get her when we were, uh, when she'd be out here uh, doing the music shows in January. Of course, those haven't happened. NAM events haven't happened in a few years. But uh, of course, I want to have Ida on. Um, that's for sure. But yes, we're going to have Tall on. And I'm so looking forward to it. Like, I love Morris. Morris is one of my favorite people. Um, yeah. Tall, I am. Uh, so looking forward to and there's so many people like i want a few more shows next week um i'm having another eye procedure next friday so we probably won't have a friday show because the bright lights will hurt it but i'd like to have another show wednesday and thursday so we will see but yes i am so looking forward to to tall and talking about things and the stories like i said and you've seen it no matter what, where you may have heard them before or heard them talk, we're going to talk about different stuff because you just got to come from the heart and uh, you're going to have different questions just because you relate to them on a different level. So I guess uh, someone better be hitting up uh, Tall on your social media that they want they want some hair tips up the house on it. But um, we're going to be going on with it. And of course, like I said, you know, I want to have the whole concept of the show, of course, and we'll be having a separate show. I want to have Prince people on, but I want to get to the other level and have it expand, just like what I want to happen with um, his music and other things going on, uh, to have it expand and branch out his audience. So, <laughs> so she is down for hair tips, apparently, but... Um, Thank you, Blessing. I hope so, too. Um, sometimes how things work out, no matter how much advance you try to do it, it comes down to last minute stuff. But um, I'm a very thankful person. I'm a very grateful person. Um, I'm with the belief that everything um, is going to work out. Um, the main thing is that sometimes you got to accept help from other people and not um, close people out. So I appreciate um, help that's been trying to happen for sure. And uh, I try to make it as easy for people as possible. And sometimes our healthcare industry doesn't make it too easy. That's all I'm going to say. So, um, you learn and get the people in your life when you need them. This helps us, helps others. The people you introduce us to on the show, just be sharing their life stories, one thing so touch someone to yourself maybe you will meet someone in the doctor's office getting a recheck share is something special we'll see next week uh even though we got tall on i'll have a doctor's visit tuesday i'll have a different doctor's visit wednesday i'll have a different doctor's visit then friday will be um uh the eye procedure but i'm still planning on doing shows it's maybe it's instead of having to concentrate on that stuff i can concentrate on the shows and questions and other things. So the next guest will, again, like we said, will be a uh, tall, tall Wickenfield who plays bass on this project. And I am so, so, so looking forward to having her on. So, but yeah, life stories and drinking up others prayers. I think there's a book in it. <laughs> Uh, I just don't know how long the book's going to be. We need a happy ending, though. And not ending like at the Purple Rain premiere or the Super Bowl. It has to be a happy ending for myself. Um, yeah, I have Kaiser, too. But this isn't covered, and it's been a battle. Uh, I filed a grievance, filed an appeal, and... Uh, I mean, whenever I plan on having it, 
you guys will know afterwards, not before. But um, you know, I'll I'll be back. The vengeance. Who's on the shirt tonight? Do you guys really want to know? Because it isn't a print shirt, but I had to put on something a little bit cooler. And like I said, we're trying to expand past the Prince world. So did anyone can see who that is laying down without uh, me putting out their name on it. So you guys see who that is and take a photo and put on social media and share it to Audrey. Audrey what? Hepburn, Audrey Plaza. Although I like Audrey Plaza. So, do we have to get to no one? No one can guess who it is. One of the most popular female songwriters on the planet, who you guys may not like, but I think she's amazing. Not Hepburn, no. Amito got it. And I think it says it on there. Uh, it's a folklore album from Taylor Swift, although I really like Evermore a lot more than folklore. But yes. Taylor Swift on the shirt. How to switch it up. So yeah, that's uh, my girl crush. I probably just lost a few followers over that. Yes. So, yep. What's going on, everyone? So let's give it another like 14 minutes. Going to have this be a super short show. But um, man, when you when you have an interview like Morris Hayes, you don't really need an after show. So, um, yeah. I don't know if Taylor was a Prince fan, but all I gotta say is is when she gave the Grammy Award to Gautier, someone that I used to know. Look in the audience when Prince is coming out on stage. Uh, I believe it was. Um, Maybe maybe it was for it wasn't for Gautier's one. Maybe it was the orange, the orange outfit. They panned to Taylor really quick, and she's losing her shh because she's like, "Oh my God, if 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 I win this award, her Prince is presenting me the award." So that would have been pretty cool. Oh my God, I'd love to add Taylor podcast. That's what I'm talking about. Is I need to expand stuff. I need to make the show even bigger, and that's part of it. Um, I may not be verified on my Instagram account yet, but we got rid of the other account. So now I can post what the heck I want and I'm doing it slowly. That's why you have the Rihanna photo today. Slowly but surely we're going into those things. So, you know, thank you. That's one that we can want. It wasn't, it was uh, in the orange outfit, it was Beck and Kanye almost went on stage and had a little, uh, little interrupting Beck's speech, unlike he did with Taylor at the, um, the MTV Awards about a decade prior. So Lizzo would be cool too. Like I said, um, you know, I had someone that I wanted on, been trying to get on for a while, first agreed on social media, hit them up privately. And then today they're like declining. And I'm just like, it doesn't matter that you didn't really know Prince. like. You know, I'm trying to expand stuff and you have to do it. So um, I'll have like a special announcement on that. I really was waiting for the blue check mark because um, Susie from uh, Canada sent me a little mask that had the Funkenberry with the blue check mark. So I can't wear that yet, Susie. I got it. If I didn't tell you already, thank you so much. But I look forward to when I can have that on and rock the blue check mark. Uh, do you have it on Twitter? So, sorry, um, Andre, but yeah, I post more about than just Prince. I had to be a one-trick pony for a while. I think Prince appreciated my website, and that's one of the main reasons why he had me be included, is I post about other artists as well. And if you remember, if you follow Prince through his career, even before social media, but on social media, he'd be letting you guys know about acts he was digging or songs that he was digging. So it wasn't all just about him. And I'm not, um, so yeah, that's what it goes down to. But I have so much more interest other than Prince, as you're seeing right here, my little um, 
girl crush. And what's funny is, is I don't know all of Taylor's music right now, just in case someone later on, if I'm ever working for, for Taylor or her estate, someone doesn't try to use this on me. This is August 13, 2021. Um, you know, I don't know everything, but I appreciate it and always give it a listen. So, yeah. Esperanza Spalding, he loved her. Exactly. Nika Costa, Lizzo. Rita Ora, all these people he had on his album. He's going to be hating on them too. Um, yeah. He'd be doing it all the time. And then, you know, he'd take an interest in stuff that I would post on uh, Lauren Hill on, on my um, site. I remember um, Jay Davey, like when I post about them, like they contacted me because Prince shared them, like, hey, I read you're doing this. I'm like, where'd you hear that? And they're like, on, on the site. So they contacted me like, yo, thank you so much for the love. And, you know, like Prince let us know about it. So I didn't even know that Prince was into Jay Davey at the time. But it'd be so much stuff. Like I was in a Nika and not really understanding that Nika had a pretty big Frank Sinatra connection. And for some reason, as a kid, I gravitated towards Sinatra, um, even though that's before my time or whatnot. So I was in Anika, and then all of a sudden I go online and Prince is like telling Nika to come to Paisley Park. Then we're, on, we're in line for Anika show and we're learning about a new artist called Amy Winehouse that was playing at the Satellite, a small club here in LA. And then like right before Amy was about to break, break out with Back in Black, Prince is like mentioning her that he wants to perform her at 21 Nights. So it'd just be this crazy stuff. Yeah, Janelle Monet. Um, although I figured that Prince would really like her. I was checking her out beforehand. I saw her opening up for Bruno Mars, where Bruno Mars was playing smaller venues than he plays now. So be the digital music journalist that you are. Exactly. And I'm going to be doing it, and we're going to be expanding stuff. And you guys can be along for the ride. I still want to do the Prince stuff, but I have to expand, especially, um, you know, we had Nick West on before. I'd love to have Nick West on again and uh, have mad love for Nick West and Leanne Lahavas. The first time I met Leanne, I butchered her name and she was just the sweetest on that. But um, she's so much more than that. I love her last album. Had to get that on vinyl. Love the way it sounds. So, you know, that's how things go with it. But no one knows, like... Um, the battles that I have to expand stuff. And there's other people that want to do my show and they may not be as well known, but we're going to be doing stuff. We're going to be switching it up. You know, I love that Shilon. She knows, she knows, but it's when she's ready. Um, we had conversations before. It's been a while since I've seen her, um, but hopefully um, she's recovering right now. She's not performing this weekend, but she'll be back in the mix. Uh, but yeah, there's so many people that I love and appreciate. Music is my lifeline. It's my other language. So, yeah. I think someone just sent me a text that they can't be my friend anymore, and it's because of the Taylor Swift thing. But, um, yeah. And Prince and Cat Stevens. I'm trying to help you. I mean, Olivia Rodrigo. I don't know why, but so many people are saying it gives them Alanis more set vibes. I think Alanis was a lot more angrier than Olivia, but it is teen angst and other stuff. And I like Olivia's stuff. Um, but, and that's what's funny is that Olivia's like hero is freaking Taylor Swift. And Taylor Swift is just 31, but she's been in the business since she was 15. So remember, yes, I was trying to have more stay on and Arlington passed away. Arlington was my connection. I'm not as close to um, the personally handling handling things. I'd have to reintroduce myself, and I'd rather do that stuff in person. But I would love to have Morris on and for us to chop it up. I think that we'd be able to talk about, again, different things that no one else talked about and just have a great conversation. So I'm not a Cardigan fan. I'm a Jardigan fan, and uh, I rocked it at... Um, Paisley, one of the days that I went and uh, the days I wasn't having business meetings out there. So 
Um, much love to the people that helped um, with the purchase of t-shirts during that. There still is more. There's other people I have stuff for the side, but that allowed um, the trip to happen. I had someone offer me miles in April. So that was already taken care of. I stayed with a friend that helped eliminate um, the expense of uh, staying in a hotel. Um, so appreciate that. Didn't have a car this time because it was too expensive, but had the same friend give me a ride. So it's appreciated. Um, I was super frugal on this trip. And that's just how it was. But your, your guys made it happen. It wasn't it may be it may be a success the trip i just won't know for some time but it was important to do it so i'm appreciated so you want morris hayes back on again eventually i think he's like man you ain't you ain't pretty enough to have me on again <laughs> anyway yes uh yes Morris Day was at Paisley Park last night, live on Instagram for the MPG Music Club. Those things are cool. Jacob Collar, Rosemary Prince, who plays and produces everything, for sure. I do kind of want to try to wrap it up in the next five. I love um, talking to you guys. Sh is Shannon laughing at my, my Taylor Swift shirt or is it something else? You know, I, th I could clown you for that VH1 Honors post that you didn't remember that Prince played there, but... You know, he did play the Pantages the next night, but the, the lighting of that show wasn't exactly the best um, for us in the crowd um, when he did the Holy River and Take Me With You and Grass River Ray, especially with the black lights. But to see, and I think that was my first time seeing Stevie Wonder perform and him bringing out George Michael. And that wasn't the last time that I saw Stevie or George perform thankfully, um, but it was pretty impressive that I can say that I saw George Michael and Stevie Wonder do living for the city together. So uh, that was a definite surprise. Although we didn't get Celine Dion that night like we were supposed to, it was pre-recorded from, I believe, Vegas or overseas. So um, Morris says you're not pretty. Oh yeah, yeah. well, it's true. I mean, I'm, I'm better looking than I used to be not trying to be arrogant. I still got work to do. Um, um, that thing in a in process, inside and out. It's a constant thing. So, yeah, it's all right. Wasn't one of his best TV um, performances, if you can even say that. Get Sting to chat with you. I mean, look, I there's another show, like I said, that will be like people that weren't exactly associated with Prince but they have print stories. We're gonna be doing stuff like that. Already got a copyright figured out for that. Um, but, and I wanna have it expanded to something else. So, you know, you forgive me for Taylor. She's a good songwriter. I'm just not a Swifty. I'm sure there are some musicians I like that you don't. Like, maybe I need a Taylor fan. No, I'm playing. But, um, I don't have exactly a lot of Taylor shirts. This was sent to me as a gift along with another shirt. And they don't watch my show, so they don't know. I'm a more of an Evermore fan and her other stuff, but I'm rocking the folklore. Thank you, Susan. But um, Prince and Alumni, yes, of course. That's the Marcel. Again, that'd be it. We had St. Paul on what, about a month or two ago? No, we had him in June. Yeah. Uh, when he did the pop-up event at Paisley, we had him that week. So, you know, yeah. But um, the next 48, 60 hours need some stuff to happen. And uh, we'll go from that. Um, but I'm annoying the hell out of uh, a lot of physicians at, uh, in West L.A., that's for sure. Oh, Marcus, shoot. I, it'd be better wearing a Taylor Swift shirt than wearing a Dallas Cowboys jersey, right? All right, then. <laughs> I think they may look at you weird, but they'll be like, bro, did you lose a bet? Is there is there like someone with a gun pointing at you? What's going on here? So we'll see. 
even though it's a preseason game, congrats on that. I just want us to win one preseason game. There's something, and this is football talk, sorry, people, but there's something to it. If you go undefeated in a preseason, it means nothing. If you actually go winless in preseason, it means something. You usually don't make the playoffs. So, hey, Cowboys are my team. Marcus is uh, not exactly a Cowboy lover. He's a Steeler fan. So, man, Kerry, thanks. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and play right now. Uh, play at a place and let's hope. The lotto is pretty good right now, but um, yeah, my health isn't better, but I need this freaking thing. So, um, I'm a COVID numbers going up in time. Time is of the essence. So. I've been annoying them, been talking to several this week, talking to supervisors. Um, it's just tough. And I appreciate the love and support of someone that's truly trying um, to help me. And um, I'm trying to I'm trying to battle myself. So Vakas uh, um, did horrible tonight, talk about that. Cowboys, yeah, Steelers. Dodgers only for me, Lakers. Yeah, I like the Dodgers too. I'll be honest. It's tough for me to be a Laker fan right now. And I don't even post about the Lakers anymore. Like I'm going to have to do like memories when the Lakers have players on them again that I like. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but Russell Westbrook is on the Lakers now, and that was one of Prince's favorite basketball players. That's why I knew when the Warriors were playing the Thunder that week when he went to Damaris with the game that he was going to stay in town because he liked Curry and he liked Westbrook. So thank you with the good karma. I didn't see the Field of Dreams game fully. Saw a little bit of highlights. But yeah, I just, my mind's just been on other things, you know, like if someone's thinking cucumbers, my mind's been on peanut butter and jelly and I just haven't been able to concentrate. But shows like this have been doing I love the Angels too. I love the Clippers. Uh, my first Angel game was against the Yankees. Um, Dodger game was before that. But yeah, for sure. And let's see the other thing. Galaxy, I haven't been to a Galaxy game. So there we go. Clippers, I like the Clippers too. I was rooting for them. They got Quali signed for a little bit. Yankees, these are cool. You know, especially when the Dodgers had Frank McCord as the owner, I wasn't supporting that for a bit. So when the Yankees played the Dodgers, me and my boy were secretly rooting for the Yankees. But now that the Dodgers have the right owners in place and other stuff, I am a Dodger mark, as uh, the wrestling fans would say. So there you go. Susie, I'm glad. I hope people that got the shirts, they didn't mind the little note I put in and with the cologne that I wear time to time. I hope that vanilla didn't like give you guys a headache to where you had to wash it. Um, but I appreciate it. Have I seen Prince in concert outside the USA? I haven't, and I still saw him hundreds of times. Isn't that freaking crazy? Even though some of his best shows will be overseas as well. Good. Eagles. You need Nick Foles. That's all I'm going to say about that. Should never got rid of Nick Foles for Carson Wentz soft self. And I'm being nice when I say self. Here's the links for you guys. I saw people that donated. Give me some time to get back to you on that because I kind of want to go for a drive. I got a lot on my mind. Um, it helps clear it up. And um, yeah, I'll tell you about things after it happens. But I need it to happen first. I'm just um, extremely frustrated. <sighs> yeah, I didn't even put it right on that one. Dang it. Sorry. Showed you my mind is not on everything it can be on when I'm not putting the full thing. Just bear with me, but at least I can get through the shows that would be refreshing. All right, guys, I thank you guys for your support. We will have a flyer out, but Monday, Tal Wickenfield. Tal, I'm looking 
forward to it big time. And hopefully by Monday, I'll have a big smile on my face. So we'll see rumors of songs of Vava Dolly Parton. How about that? Don't know about that. Uh, don't know about that. That's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Um, like I said, try to be kind to one another, practice love for another. You know, there's been times where I slipped up and I trusted the wrong people and they betrayed me um, and talked to me about others. It's just sometimes like you have someone that you trust and you're telling them everything and uh, they betray that trust. So it happens and it's happened super recently. And so I'm not a perfect person. I need to practice myself, but um, truly try to be kind and not um, do other stuff. I have not I have the Batman 89. I'm just afraid of opening it. I'll probably, when it gets to the paperback, I'll read it. So, you know, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, just be careful who you talk to and who you, who you trust. I try to keep my circle very small. Sometimes I feel it's too small and then people don't get it. Um, yeah. Much love, you guys. Thank you for all your comments and positivity. Um, I still haven't got back to people's birthday messages on, on, on through text, through other stuff. Please don't take stuff personally. I just have a lot going on and I just want to be in the right mindset. Um, I do have mad love for you guys. Without you, there is no me straight up you guys make me relevant so i appreciate it all right till next time monday monday i'll see you guys same bad time same bad channel with an amazing guest that i am so excited about i don't think she knows how excited i am but um, i'm looking forward to it thanks so it was it was last week and you know again business it was right before paisley and all that stuff but um you know uh i'm here that's reason to celebrate right another year uh there we go mad love to you guys thank you again and thank you prince much love keep it funky till next time which is monday it's monday you know what that means